With the wave of call-ups who have been helping the club lately, the number of players used by the Yankees this season has climbed to 47. Last night featured the latest to make their de team debut in Sal Romano. He's got some local ties. Romano was born on Long Island and grew up a few hours away from Yankee Stadium in Southington, Connecticut. The Yankees signed the 27-year-old in May after he was designated for assignment and released by his original organization, the Reds, for whom Romano appeared in 83 career games. Earlier today, our Meredith Morakovitz caught up with the right-hander. Sal, as a Yankees fan growing up, what type of a thrill is it for you to wear that uniform? Oh, it was a dream come true. It was some, I waited, you know, 27 years to uh, to put that to put that uniform on yesterday. Uh, it was an unbelievable feeling. I was actually at Yankee Stadium the day before, so I got to you know try on my pinstripe jersey and all that. Like I said, I waited a long time to do that. It was a you know a dream come true. Um, you know, had some family here. It was a, it was an unbelievable experience. I can't can't one of the one of the greatest days of my life for sure. I would imagine there'd be a lot of adrenaline anyway but Yankees Red Sox knowing the rivalry does that just add to it for you oh absolutely just thrown right in the fire but you know that's you know I, I want that type of situation um, you know I think I prepared myself for that and just uh, just wanted to go out there and do my job and get the outs that Booney need me to get so uh, you know I was glad I was able to do that and I understand you changed your grip on your slider a little bit you were quoted as saying you feel like you're a little bit of a different pitcher now what exactly did you change how is it more effective now uh, when I signed here with the Yankees if one of the first things that they said was that we have this slider we want to teach you um, that's able to hopefully get more swings and miss um, there's a little bit more movement horizontally um, I was able to you know show that last night a little bit on a few of them uh, just worked uh, worked a lot down there with some of the some of the guys uh, down in Scranton that uh, that worked with it a little bit and worked with uh, Dustin down there and uh, and Sam so um, it's really come together the last couple weeks and I just got to be confident with it and throw it but uh, it's just a grip thing and just my thumb placement of it and just and just trusting it and throwing it in the games and uh, uh, there was a couple games towards the end there uh, when I was in Scranton that I just wanted to keep throwing it and keep throwing it in, in order to get it better because that's how you get yeah that's how you get better and more comfortable with pitches by just keep throwing it. Is it difficult at this stage in the game to get comfortable with a pitch like that? Um, it was a little difficult at first, the first couple weeks with it. I'm not gonna lie, I almost gave up on it at first, but you know I've always been you know brought up to you know not give up on things and you know I was like you know what I'm gonna figure this out and you know it's become a really big pitch for me and I hopefully I can just uh, continue to improve on it. You mentioned throwing and working down in Scranton. What what is the anticipation like? You sign with the Yankees, wondering if you're going to get the opportunity up here. Yeah, um, like I told you guys before, is this has always been a dream of mine since I was a kid. And when the Yankees called, uh, you know, it was just one of those things where how could I, you know, give up an opportunity and to, you know, wear this jersey and represent this, uh, you know, represent this city and everything like that. You know, growing up a humongous Yankee fan and all the history behind it and just, you know, being a phone call away, going to AAA and you know, pitching, hopefully pitching well and you know, to get this opportunity like I have now. Uh, like I said before, it's just a dream come true. Favorite Yankee team growing up? Oh, you know, with Brocious, Bernie, Paul, Tino, Jeter, you know, all the Posada. Just I can name, I can name all of them. Pettit, you know, just all those guys. Just, just growing up, coming to the ballpark with my dad all the time. Been to hundreds and hundreds of Yankee games growing up. Uh, I was actually at Game Six uh, in '09. I got to tell Gardy, you know, there's two guys on this roster that were there, me and him, and I was in the stands. So um, it was just a, it was just a really, really, you know, great experience growing up watching this team and now you know I'm part of it now and it's, it's time to get to work now Paul's in our booth tonight as well what would a younger version of you say to Paul O'Neill if you had the opportunity to deliver a message back when he was playing I'm pretty sure you've met you've met my father in a hotel in New York City during Christmas time I wasn't I was sick I think they went to the Rockettes or something like that and I think they were in the same elevator as you but uh, you know Paul I was a big huge fan of yours growing up and uh, you know just hopefully I get the chance to meet you here uh, in a couple days thank you so much for the Time. Thanks for having me. Send it back to you. Thanks, Meredith. Thanks, Sal. It's kind of cool, too, because Della Batantis wore 68 as well, as so does Sal. And uh, Dellen was at David Wells' perfect game in the bleachers. Now, he only threw 13 pitches last night. Uh, perhaps Romano could be an option out of the bullpen tonight. Now,